What is happening guys, it's MNG here today and we'll be counting down the top 10 free to play games on Steam that you should definitely take a look at. At number 10 we have a game called Dirty Bomb, it offers fast paced gameplay, graphics that are modern and unique, various specialized characters with unique abilities, maps that are well designed and balanced, objective oriented game modes, dedicated servers and free to play without pay to win which is extremely important. Coming down to number 9 we have Hawken. Forget Titanfall, Hawken is a great FPS game, the movement is good, the simulation is awesome, and the gameplay is freaking amazing. There is so much customization available, the game is not pay to win, and the game itself is a very fun mechanized combat shooter and is well balanced, so even a new player can handle themselves once they've got a grasp on how to play the game. Coming down at number 8 we have Unturned. You become a survivor in the zombie infested ruins of society and you team up with your friends to remain among the living. It's kind of like Minecraft but with zombies. What the? Z that Minecraft has zombies. Okay, it's Minecraft with guns and cars. Coming down at the number 7 spot, we have Heroes and Generals. The game uniquely merges epic first person shooter action with a great strategic layer, where your decisions have the power to turn the tide in an ongoing war among thousands of online players. You can choose to play as heroes, which are fighting in the trenches, flying planes and commanding tanks and other vehicles on the battlefield, or take control of the war as generals, determining the strategic direction and, support and supporting fellow players by managing battlefield assets, army units and reinforcements. The number 6 spot is taken by Planetside 2. Planetside 2 is a free to play, massively multiplayer online first person shooter, where empires fight on a massive scale where soldiers battle in an all out planetary war on a freaking huge scale. I mean seriously, the maps host thousands of players. You're meant to win control over critical territories, but all everyone does is shoot each other and try to be cool with their uh, sniper invisible class thing. You customize your soldier, weapons and vehicles to match your playstyle. On the number 5 spot we have No More Room in Hell. No More Room in Hell is a zombie survival game with intense themes. You can see blood, death and despair everywhere. Body bags on the streets with crashed cars and stores that are boarded up. There's a few weapons left and you and, other, and another 5 survivors have to make it to the extraction point by doing many different objectives. One objective could be as quick as hell, another may take tons of minutes. Taking the number 4th spot is Robocraft. It's just making robots in the form of vehicles with blocks and stuff. And you take them into battle and kill people with it. 11 out of 10 IGN. And at number 3 we have Warframe. A free to play multiplayer shooter set in an evolving sci-fi world where you're basically a space ninja. I mean seriously, do I need to say anything else? And look at all these amazing reviews. The number 2 spot is uh... Dota 2, okay, yeah, okay, okay, please don't kill me, League players, but it's true, I know it's not the best, but it's definitely the most popular Steam game right now, and I need to put it on the list. If you haven't already heard about it, this game is a competitive game of strategy, where people pick from a pool of over 100 champions, I mean, uh, uh, heroes, forming two teams of five players to destroy their, uh, nexus, I mean, uh, ancient, freaking League. Coming down at the number one spot is obviously Team Fortress 2. Everyone knows this game is the number one, but what can I say? It's an eight year old game and it may not get as much press as it used to, but Team Fortress 2 is still a, the most popular team based shooter out there with way too many hats. I mean, seriously, even if you've played it before, it's always nice to jump around every once in a while. There's a reason this game is so influential.